Welcome to the TechSource.TV. Today we have another full tower case that is huge uh, from BitPhoenix. So previously uh, we reviewed a massive case from BitPhoenix, which was the first one we reviewed by them, which was the Colossus Venom Edition, um, which was really badass, huge. Got lots of views on that one. Uh, a lot of people really like the styling of it. Now this is a case, is the Shinobi XL, which is very similar to the Colossus. So let's go ahead and check this out today. We're not reviewing it, but we're going to do a quick look. We'll review it later on. All right, so as this case is so big, I have to move the camera up a little bit. Now you can actually see my head when I'm standing up instead of it having cut off. Um, so the Bifinix Shinobi XL, um, as you guys know, we have reviewed a Shinobi non-window. We usually reviewed the basic version and we put it up against uh, we did a little comparison, um, but anyways, but that was a that was a really nice case, and I really liked it. I was really impressed with the regular Shinobi. Let's check out what they did for the XL. So I know they brought over a lot of the styling. As you can see, the box is a plain box, and I kind of wish they did what they did with the Venom. It made a really nice box, but by doing this, it definitely helps on cutting costs. Don't know how much, but I know a plain box is a lot easier to make than a printed color box. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and get this unboxed right away because I know there's gonna be a lot to this case. So as you can see, they use the nice foam as well. And this case came in excellent condition. There's no serious dents or anything on it. So the first thing that fell out of the box was a owner's manual. So cool stuff there. I'll tell you exactly what the case comes with. So if you did buy it, so if you did buy it open box or pre-owned or something like that, or say you when you bought it new, it was missing stuff. God, God forbid that doesn't happen to you. You do have everything here and need to know. So I have had that in the past happen to me. Your case is missing parts, not from Biff Phoenix, but other companies. Name shall not be mentioned, but it really sucks, and then you have to go back to either your reseller and or in our manufacturer and tell them, hey, my stuff's missing, and yada yada yada. <laughs> so, oh well. It does suck, but it rarely happens. Anyways, continue opening this beast up. So as you can see, the Shinobi XL is massive, and there's Ah, that's the second case now in this today that I've been shocked. Uh, anyways, completely flat side panel on the side. Uh, so there's not, nothing going on on that side there. But on the front, we have classic Shinobi styling with its so awesome soft touch plastic. Or as we like to call it, is the Euro plastic. That's what I'm calling it now, the Euro plastic. Because European cars mainly have it. But now you've seen that a lot of North American cars. this nice soft touch plastic, which I kind of like. But I'm calling it the Euro plastic. But... The real name for it is Soft Touch from Bit Phoenix. But anyways, on the front we see one, two, three, four, five hard drive bays. I see that's a little excessive. They could go with maybe a little bit less, but hey, you can do an internal reservoir here. You got lots of room for expandability. Um, the Shinobi logo, and we got the nice ventilation down the side. So pretty standard looking Shinobi, but larger. <laughs> Going on to the top of the case, we got tons of ventilation, just like its uh, brother, the uh, Colossus. We have four USB 2.0 ports. We have the supercharged port, which is meant for charging your iPad or tablets that or, or devices that require more power. So this is not a normal USB port. It's a purely charging port, but it's the supercharged port. And I love it. So I'm going to test it out with my iPad. Um, also, we have the headphone, microphone, power button, reset button, which is a lot smaller, which is good so you don't hit it by accident. I've had cases that had massive reset buttons, and I put my foot on my case or my friend would put their hand on my case and by accident hit my reset button and I'd be like, oh, be a piss off. Had it happen too many times to myself. Anyways, let's go ahead and open this up. So before I open up the side, I'm gonna quickly show you the back of the case. So here we go, this is the back of the case. We got four water cooling tubes for holes to pass through, uh, or holes for tubes to pass through, as I should say. 120 millimeter fan. If you do not want to use this fan, you could always swap it out for 140 if you prefer. Um, but I can tell you the Bit Phoenix fans are very good. I'll shield plate, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine expansion slots. This will support XL ATX. Standard P it's your standard uh, ATX power supply can go down there in the bottom. And now let's open up the side. So to do these ones, you just push them off and slide them out. Super easy. 
Um, generally, I'm not a fan of this styling. My personal case has the same, I mean, this, that, that system of taking the side panels off, my personal case has those exact, that exact same style of the panels, and it's a pain in the ass. But this one actually came off really good. So for hard drive base, uh, let's start with hard drive base and optical base. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hard drives you can put in this case. Um, or if you take out a couple of screws, you can take the entire drive bay out, which allows the ability to put a 2 by 120 rad on the bottom of the case. That actually has dust filters. Um, and also there's a dust filter on the bottom for your uh, power supply, which is great to see. I don't feel like putting that back in. Um, we have the two internal USB 3 headers here, all your connectors, all black. The power for the supercharged port uses a SATA power. Uh, we have our five DVD drive bays, all toolless as well. Thumb screws on our expansion slot bays, which I like to see. I hate the toolless systems. They all suck and they have issues with dual slot video cards. I haven't seen one that works yet. So I like how they did go with thumb screws. This is your two and a half inch, or your three and a, it turns, it turns your five and a quarter bay to a three and a, a three and a quarter or three and a half inch base, which is great. So if you have a card reader or something like that, or you still use a floppy drive, there you go. If you're stuck in 1990 and 1980s, you can still use your floppy drive and use your floppies to back up your data with the 1.4 megabytes it can hold. Now maybe some of our younger audience doesn't even know what a floppy drive is. It feels good to be old. Not. Anyways, got a bag of screws with the awesome uh, motherboard standoff uh, tightener, which I think at Biffynix is one of the first companies I've ever seen to do that. Now a lot of companies are following suit. Comes with proper size zip ties and a whole bunch of uh, cable tie downs so these are uh, sticky onto your case and you run the cables through them. It's a very nice uh, accessories package from Biffyx there. So let's move on to the rest of the case. It's got great cable management. It's exact, very similar cable management as the XL. I mean, not as the XL, as the Colossus. So we got a big uh, hole here, rubber grommets, and another hole here for rubber grommets. We got three of them up top, so anywhere where cables are going to pop out or uh, need to be routed, you can do it. Comes with an included 200 millimeter fan in the top. Another 200 millimeter, actually these are 230s actually. Yeah, these are 230 millimeter fans in the top and the bottom. You can also do a three by 140 rad in the top. I am, yeah, actually, is it three by 140? Or it could be two by 120. Um, you could do one or the other. I'm gonna confirm that in the review, but you can also do two of the Biff Phoenix 230 millimeter fans in the top as well. It comes with one in the front, one in the top, and a rear fan. So your basic cooling, you're good to go. If you do want to change it, you've got lots of options to do that. Massive CPU cutout as well. Check this out. I could put my hand right behind the motherboard tray. So lots of room for you. Uh, that's pretty much about it. It's a pretty dope case. I like it. Also want to make a note, a quick mention. After now that this case has been out on the market for a little bit, um, Biffenix did come out with a windowed side for it. It's an available upgrade. So you can pick one of those up if you do not like the plain side. I would recommend going for that. I'm not sure on price, but you can pick those up. Um, we're not getting one to review, but you can get one. So if you are looking, if you do like the styling of this, you like the side, the size of it, you can also get a side panel for that. So I would opt for that option. Definitely check that box. But anyways, guys, remember to uh, watch more Tech Source videos. Rate this one thumbs up if you do like this case. And uh, we'll see you guys next time on the TechSource.tv. My name's Dan, I'm signing out. This thing's massive, just like the Colossus, and I'm looking forward to reviewing it. So, see you guys soon.